Being from New York means you're badass. Honestly, I think that New Yorkers are some of the best people in the world. I definitely think that Brooklyn as a whole has a lot of influence on, on my sound. My Caribbean background as well, too. Going to the Labor Day Parade every year, like visiting Jamaica every year, and, and incorporating that sound into my music was something that was very special and important for me. I grew up in East Flatbush and in Clinton Hill. It helped form the, the girl that you're seeing today. It definitely feels really great to be back on stage. I mean, as an artist, I feel like that's one of the, besides like the actual music, that's one of the main elements to being an artist is getting up on that stage and performing and, you know, just really getting to connect with your fans. I feel like with this new body of work, the person that you see on stage is completely different if you've seen me before. Space and Time is the Bad Bitch Manual because each and every song on this album, which I wrote on, just it just captures a different side of me in making this person and this woman that I've become on this journey and becoming more confident as a woman, more confident as an artist. And ultimately when it came down to finishing this project, I felt like that bad bitch. I found that bad bitch. I feel like so many people have tried to explain that feeling of what it's like to be on stage, but until like you've experienced it for yourself, there's not really, I don't, I don't think you can put it into words. It's a crazy feeling. The nerves and, and the adrenaline that rushes through you and the energy that's coming from the crowd, it's just like, it's like no other. going up there to do the best show that I possibly can, no matter where I am. Performing live in my home borough for the first time in almost two years, it definitely feels like a homecoming, a Brooklyn homecoming. <laughs> 